Hi, my name is Jack Stevens. Hi, my name is Kendall Cordova. I'm Dustin. And I'm James Martin. And we will be talking about our breaching experiment, specifically our breaching experiment at the gym. In the breaching experiment conducted by us, there was a lot learned all around. In our experiment, we tested improper gym etiquette and the reactions following. Over everything, I learned how people react to weird things happening around them. It was really interesting to see how people reacted to our group doing what we were doing. Some people would look at us and give us a dirty look, and some would just sit there and smirk. After this class and learning about people and how people react to certain situations, we noticed how people were trying to save face for themselves just by being around us. Face saving behavior is the idea of doing or saying things to try and reduce the embarrassment that you or another person feels. For example, in this situation, a face saving technique used would be just looking away and acting like it wasn't you, or if you were a spectator and were trying to save face for yourself, acting like you were just a part of the crowd and acting like we were a ton of juveniles messing off. This was a big help for continuing with the experiment and it reduced the potential embarrassment for all. In our experiment, we exposed bad gym etiquette, like I said. More specifically, we were testing breaking social norms in the gym. The normal behavior would be that a person would normally lift weights that are usually heavy or well fit for their strength and not yell at the top of their lungs while lifting the weight or doing the proper workout for that weight. People usually don't grunt at all or don't really scream at all even, and they especially don't make a fool out of themselves when they're lifting. Our breaching behavior was just trying to be funny and having fun doing the breaching experiment to get a reaction out of others. There was little social sanction between the people that we did the experiment with to get a reaction, and some people were not bothered by it or didn't care because they had headphones in, and other people were extremely bothered by it because they didn't have headphones in, we were right next to them. When doing this experiment, any chance of impression management is completely thrown out the window. When shouting and being loud at the gym, the only real impression that you can give to everyone is that you're a little bit weird. It's completely out of the social norms to be this loud in a quiet public place that when things like this occur, everyone in the vicinity will be shocked and they will look for sure. The main thing that we realize when performing this experiment is how much of an effect sociology has on everyday life. Bringing what we learned in class to the world, to the real world has, was really neat especially when I can visually see people reacting how we were talking about in class. Learning in the classroom also showed me this stuff is actually real. Being a hands-on learner in the first place, seeing how people are thinking and reacting connected all the dots from what we were talking about in class relating to face-saving behavior, social norms, and et cetera. So yeah, just like Jack said, this experiment was really fun. So what we did essentially is that our team, we went to these different gyms to demonstrate the improper gym etiquette. So we first started by going to club fitness where I was seen doing two segments. One was kind of deadlifting a treadmill, kind of unordinary. And the other one was like pressing down on a muscle up machine. I'm pretty sure. Now, obviously before any of this, I was super nervous because, well, we all were, matter of fact, because we we're about to do these like embarrassing things in public. But come to find out after it, I think it was a huge confident booster. I won't lie. As a breaching experiment, to breach, to get reactions out of other people who are doing unordinary things, very gave me like a more boosted confidence because when I walked out, I felt more dominant in that area. So that, that was like one of the things I learned. So, yeah. I don't know what Kendall think is that like the social rules that we broke was that we were we were lifting very light weights and screaming as loud as we can to get a reaction because you can usually see people lifting light weights and screaming very loud for no reason. Um, usually the rule is that you should not take over someone's personal space 
it is important that you do they do your workouts naturally and not affect the people around you that are working out. It is also disrespectful to mess with someone's workout doing stupid things that causes those people to get out of focus and all that. It's rather like wildfire. If you mess up someone's workout, you mess everybody's workout. Everybody's finally whenever it comes to the gym, but if you get on the wrong foot, then there could be some repercussions. People should not be acting like a fool, like we did at the gym. And whenever we were doing the experiment, you know, it was kind of, it was really nervous. Uh, videotaping Kendall and, uh, and Jack, but, you know, we were kind of laughing and all that, but, you know, people were, getting, people were giving us uh, stairs here and there at the gym, and, uh, you know, we didn't, it wasn't really a problem with it. They were just looking at us like, why the hell are we doing this and all that, you know, but uh, that was, it was fine, and, you know, and we all did our part, and it wasn't, it wasn't that bad in the, in the end, so everything was okay. At the start of the experiment, you begin feeling embarrassed, maybe a bit nervous because you don't know how people are going to react to what you're doing because it is so out of social norms. However, as you do the experiment more and more, you do it for longer, you become more confident in what you're doing. Um, afterwards, you think more that you don't care about what people think about you because you've been doing these weird things. You've realised it really does not matter at all what other people around you are thinking because there's not really many major repercussions for being loud and having improper gym etiquette. Um, the main reason it was seen as being a bit weird is you'd only really expect people who are really strong, lifting really heavy weight to make such like loud and annoying noises whilst lifting. However, None of us are really power lifters or bodybuilders and lifting heavy weight. So the fact that we were being this loud and out of social norms, like had an effect on people. You were getting dirty looks, people laughing at you. So, yeah. With all of this being taken into granted, I think we all learned a big lesson about connecting the dots of being in class and learning things and taking them into real life. This experiment really showed us what we learned in class and how to apply it in the future and possibly use it to expose other things also in the future. Thank you, this is our presentation.